good morning students today we are going to take the order spherocarpels of class hepaticopsida in graphites we will uh, be taking the genus spherocarpus in detail which has been described in your syllabus this topic is for msc sem1 students of botany now coming to the systematic position of spherocarpus it belongs to the division graphita class hepaticopsida the class hepaticopsida is the first class of the group graphita and it is comparatively a primitive class among the graphites the general characteristics of hepaticopsida are the gametophyte which is the dominant phase in the life cycle it forms the main plant body and it is dorsiventral independent and it can be thallus or full use in thalloid forms the plant body is prostrate and it can be lobed and dichotomously branched the ventral surface of the thallus bears many unicellular unbranched smooth walled and tuberculate rhizoids and scales the as you all very well know the function of the rhizoids is the same as that of the roots of the higher plants that is to absorb water and minerals and to fix the plant to the substratum the photosynthetic cells contain many chloroplast therefore the plant is autotrophic in nature the thallus plant and now we come to the order spherocarpels where we will be studying the genus spherocarpel the genus spherocarpel is not found in india and habitat wise the plants prefer very moist and cold place for their luxuriant growth the morphological characters vary according to the habitat jaisa ki habitat change hota hai to plant ki morphology par effect hota hai to morphological characters vary hote rehte hain according to the habitat now we will uh, be first taking the gametophyte portion of the spherocarpus students please refer to the figures a to e now external morphology of the thallus the external features of the spherocarpus the gametophytic plant body is thalloid the thallus is prostrate dorsiventrally flattened dichotomously branched and usually dark gray in color on the ventral surface scales are absent except at the near growing point of the thallus where some mucilages hair like structures are present the terminal end of the each mucilaginous hair has large swollen terminal cell and the tuberculate rhizoids are absent the entire ventral surface is covered only by smooth bald rhizoids we can say in external morphology spherocarpus resembles both thallus like which is the palea example and leafy it is leafy also frosum bronia forms of the mezzerials the internal anatomy of the thallus a is the external 
thallus like and d is the folius the internal anatomy of the thallus is also very simple there is no division of liver that is there is no division of into the photosynthetic region nor into the storage region the photosynthetic chambers photosynthetic filaments and air pores are also absent so it is uh, the uh, thallus of pseudocarpus is even much more simple than the thallus of the genus rickshia the mid rib is multistratus all the cells of the thallus they are chloroplast except the residual cells now coming to reproduction the plant it produces both by vegetative reproduction and sexual reproduction vegetative reproduction is much frequent because due to the availability of habitat which is moist habitat so plants go in for vegetative reproduction and when the habitat is very very hormonal for the growth the plant switches over to the sexual reproduction so the other common method vegetative reproduction hai sphericarpus mein aur the sub conditions favorable hoti hain the plant sexually reprodu sexually reproduce karta hai vegetative reproduction jaisa ki i have taken up in detail the vegetative reproduction in biophytes these include the fragmentation the adventitious branches here sphericarpus has a tremendous capacity to produce adventitious branches from the lower surface of the midrib even from the little wings or from the involucres now the dicotomous branches it takes place by progressive death and decay of the posterior older parts of the thallus reaching up to the dicotomy and it results into the separation of two branches which grow independently and form two new independent plants this is fragmentation coming to sexual reproduction sexual reproduction the species are dioecious that is heterothelic all the species of the genus pherocarpus are heterothelic what is heterothelic where both male and female plants are separated and differ from each other in external morphology the male plants we can say the male plants are relatively smaller in size the a is the male plant and b is the female plant so the male plant it is smaller in size compared to the female plant and the dorsal surface of the thallus has several flask shaped sessile involucres which open outside by the mouth the involucre is one cell layer thick and has a single anthidium the body of the anthidium has a single large cell layer thick sterile covering the cells of the thallus contains the uh, anthidium contains the chromatophores due to which the anthidium becomes deep orange red color on mature on maturity inside this sterile covering there is present biflagellated spindle shaped anthidozoids or sperms out of the two flagella the lower is slightly longer the development of rest of the development of anthidium is similar to that of the order marken shields which i have uh, in general taken up 
the development of anthidium. The female plant, the figure B is the female plant, and D is the archegonium. The female plants are larger in size than the male plants. The dorsal surface of female plants bear nu numerous oval involucres. Each oval shaped involucre covers a single archegonium. Each archegonium is sessile and short. The neck of the archegonium has six vertical rows of cells and they enclose an axial row of only four neck canal cells. The venter of archegonium which contains a venter canal cell and a large egg is one cell layer thick. Again, the development of archegonium is similar to the other members of the group Marken shells. Order Marken shell. Now, the process of fertilization is similar when conditions are favorable at, and uh, the archegonium, the neck, it ruptures and the miscellaneous substance is oozed out from the neck of the archegonium which attracts the anthridia and only one of the anthridia or the sperm enters into the cavity of the neck and venter and ultimately fuses with the egg it is similar now the sporophyte the figures you can refer to the figures F, G, and H. Students, spare of carpus ka, ke sporophyte ka ek remarkable feature hai. Generally, hum dekhte hai ki the sporophyte in braphites is partially parasitic upon the gametophyte. Here in Sphericarpus, the genus is partial autotropic nature. It becomes, it is trying to become independent due to the presence of chloroplasts in the cells of the capsule wall and sterile nurse cells. So, the sporophyte of the Sphericarpus is divided into foot, seta, and capsule. Foot is small, slightly bulbous, and is found embedded in the gametophytic thallus. Its functions are to absorb food from the uh, gametophytic thallus and to fix the sporophyte within the female involucre. Seta is very small which connects the foot on one hand and the capsule on the other hand. Again, the seta of spherocarpus never elongates and always remains only a few cells in height. The spore bearing portion, that is the capsule, it is the uppermost spherical or globus part of the sporophyte. It has one cell layer thick capsule which is derived from the amphitheion. The zygote gives rise to the embryo and embryo gives rise to the amphitheion and endothecium. So, the cavity of the capsule is filled by spores and nerve cells which are produced from the endothecium. Ball is derived from the amphitheion and the spores are derived from the derived from endothecium. The majority of diploid cells of endothecium divide and re-divide to form spore mother cells. Of them, some of them they remain sterile. The sterile cells provide nutrition to the developing young spores.
as I said before, the nerve cells of Pseudocarpus contain chloroplast. The young sporophyte remains enclosed within the calyptra, which is the gametophytic covering, reduced from vendor of the fertilized archegonium. And the mature sporophyte or spherocarpus always remains enclosed and protected by the oval shaped female involute cell. The development of the sporophyte after fertilization, the zygote divides by mitosis and forms two cells the upper cell, which is diploid and is called the epibasal cell and the lower cell which is also deployed is called the hypobasal cell. Both the cells again divide by transverse division and form a four celled filamentous proembryo. Each cell of proembryo divides by two longitudinal divisions at right angles to each other and a 16 cell embryo is produced in which eight cells are arranged in two tiers in the epibasal part and the remaining eight cells are arranged in the hypobasal part. The epibasal part forms the capsule and the hypobasal part forms the small foot and a very small ceta. Now the germination of spores. Two spores of a tetrad germinate and form two small thalli of male plants and Adjacent to the male plant, the remaining two spores of the same tetrad germinate and form two large thalli of the female plants. So, a spore tetrad after germination form four groups of plants. Two are male and two plants are female. I hope you have understood the genus. Serocarpus, just like belong karta hai hepaticop sita ki class to or order spherocarpels iske male or female plants hote hain aur ye usually india mein available nahi hai aur ye dioecious hai plant aur is tarah se hum dekhte hain ki jo gametophyta hai iska usme keval Smooth bald rhizoids hote hain, scales bhi present nahi hote hain. Aur iska sporophyte bhi peculiar hai. Kyunki isme chloroplast pae zaate hain. Capsule wall mein aur nerve cells mein. Aur iski wajay se ye jo spherocarpus hai, ye partially autotropic nature. डेवलप होता है जिसमें कि प्लांट्स अपना भोजन स्वयं बनाते हैं पार्शियल है कंप्लीटली नहीं है और इस तरह से ये स्पोर्स जब जर्मिनेट होते हैं तो जो फोर स्पोर्स बनते हैं टेट्राड उनमें से दो स्पोर्स मेल प्लांट बनाते हैं या मेल थैलस बनते हैं और दो जो स्पोर्स हैं वो फीमेल प्लांट बनाते हैं या पे या फीमेल thallus banta hai. So, we complete the genus Cerocarpus. This is all for now. Thank you.